What's up guys? In this short tutorial I will show you how to reduce lag and dropped frames while streaming and recording on Streamlabs OBS. Lag can be induced by an unreliable network connection, or because your PC's components don't utilize enough resources. First, you will take a look at your network lag and stutter. Open up your Streamlabs settings and go to the video section. Here, set your base resolution to your native monitor resolution, and you can downscale your output to 720p for example, as I am doing it. This will reduce the amount of bandwidth needed to stream in 1080p. If you're not sure about your bandwidth, then test it on speedtest.net. Everything you need will be in the description below. This website gives you a good idea about your up and download speed, as well as your latency. If you have more than 6MB of constant upload bandwidth, then you can stream in 1080p if you want to. Go back to your settings and set your downscale filter to be cubic or bilinear. Next, go to the advanced tab and set your process priority to above normal. And finally, in the output tab, set the mode to advanced, and in the streaming section, set the encoder to NVENC if you have a powerful enough NVIDIA GPU, otherwise set it to X264, which will utilize your CPU rather than your graphics processor. Again, you can choose to rescale your output here, which is advised if you have a bad or moderate network connection, and set your rate control to CBR, which stands for constant bitrate. Set your bitrate to something your connection can handle. For example, if you have at least 5 MB upload speed, then set it to 3500 or 4000. 4000 should be more than enough for 720p streaming. Set your keyframe interval to 2 seconds, profile to main and enable 2-pass encoding. You can now close Streamlabs. To further improve your connection, make sure to use an Ethernet cable while streaming to reduce packet loss and also reduce the amount of devices using the same network connection. When this is done, open up your command prompt by searching for CMD and hitting enter. Here, use the command ping google.com. This will check your latency and more importantly if you have any packet loss. If that is the case then you will need to make a few changes to your router and connection. Next, use the command ipconfig slash flush dns. This will flush and reset the contents of your DNS resolver cache. Close the window and then search for percentage temp percentage. This folder contains all of your temporary files, which are saved by your programs that should be deleted. You can safely delete everything in this folder. Some files will remain, so just leave them there. You can also use a third-party program, like CCleaner for example, which will clean your hard drive for you. Lastly, open up your task manager. Here, navigate to your resource monitor as you can see in the video. Here on the network tab you can see every process using your network connection. I recommend to only end the processes which you know won't break your operating system, like Steam or your browser running in the background. And as always, make sure that your operating system and drivers are up to date, to get the most out of your components. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.